We're employees from your place of business, Otohime Land. Uh, you're from our own soap land? We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. You've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you. We're doing what needs to be done. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit! You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself! That's being a fucking prick! Stop this. Boss! Totska, what's happening here? Uh, there was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. Request about Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle. Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. What's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. <sighs> yeah, I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from, though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. What should we do? Nothing. It's just play money. You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. Just give me the knife already, Captain! It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuko, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. 
Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totska. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Hmm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business. But I have no need or desire for your opinion. But... he's murdering innocent people. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totsuka, I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peacefully. You should realize, sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh yeah? What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself and she approved it. That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway... I'm done playing teacher. <laughs> Totska! <laughs> Sir! Put it down. I don't need your finger. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takabe! 
Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again. Oh. No. German! German! Kasuga. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. I'm sorry. I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old-school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that. You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa, of the Arakawa family. Ex-Tojo clan. Arakawa? Yep. Although, when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Harakawa. I'll remember that. Well, guess we should head back to the soap land. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So, that was a shocker. How Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia? I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? 
Just do it. Are you Nanohamu Koda? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Hold up. What did you just say? They said... he'll die without the surgery. Uh, just double-checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um... At the meeting, we... Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain. Does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First time, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? Huh? Uh, I guess.
So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn, and we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again, and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. Yes. Therefore, we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But... what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge until you make other arrangements. Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives hunches. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for our luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> hey, bit of a vice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat wad of cash, Maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Uh, yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. No, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. Shake. 